Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. And I know that might seem a bit ironic <laughs> as I'm talking over as these images from, oh, you know, at least a century ago appear on that page there. On the title screen of Rise of the White Sun. This game, it deals with a historical topic you don't hear much about. I didn't know much about it until I just read quite a bit about it. it. It's about a century ago. It deals with the struggle for control of China during the Warlords era. Not the Three Kingdoms era. This is different. This is different. <laughs> Coming here expecting Dynasty Warriors? No. No, no it's, it's not that. This is a turn-based grand strategy game, but uh, at least in the demo here, focused on... Well, stylistically, it's more Victoria 2, but it's focused on the, the city of Shanghai and the struggle within of one of four factions you can pick. Let's show. Multiplayer at some point, I guess. That's cool. So I can pick a scenario. Again, it's scenario-based. So the Shanghai Uprising is on the demo. So it'll give you a bit of the, the background to it. The GMP, that those are the nationalists, the Chinese nationalists, things. Chiang Kai-shek, who later takes control of them. I might butcher the current GMB general. Bao Shouzhang is marching toward Shanghai with his 20,000 men strong army. In the city itself, the GMP and the CCP agents are working hard to prepare for an uprising and negotiate secretly with the official and military officers to control them. Yeah, so that might be unclear. The warlords currently control the city of Shanghai, right? So you can pick from the warlords. You can be the warlords and try to hold the city. You can be the Green Gang, who, yeah, they're, they're the lords of the opium trade, which ruined China, pretty much, <laughs> once it was imposed by the foreign powers to weaken the population. You can be a, a, a scumbag drug lord if you want. Yeah. I'm not saying just because they're criminals, because they, they just, they took advantage of people to empower themselves, right? Who, and guess who they're working with? Mm -hmm, the White Sun, yeah, imagine that. Although, they might work differently this time, we'll see. The White Sun is actually what we're fighting. It's, the game's called Rise of the White Sun because historically the White Sun, these people here, the, the, the Chinese nationals who <laughs> are kind of chilling in Taiwan right now, those people won this scenario historically. So essentially we're trying to be the CCP and see if we can beat them. We'll see. You can pick them if you wish. You can pick any of them. You just click. And you got it. It's, it's demo. So you get that little aura around it. That's that's a faction you pick. You can pick any four of them. And it's very different because they, they all have different goals different oh, flickering there, weird anyway it's a big twitch thing they all have different goals right so the goals of the the ccp is uprisings right so you're you're the weak but you have the pe you have the people so it's i practiced this a few times it's tough hmm. So I was just checking something there. I feel ready to begin. I'll pick them because he, the CCP is, out of these four, these are the good guys in the scenario. The closest thing you're, you're going to get a good guys in this scenario because they are advocating for the common people, the heavily oppressed working class, right? Whereas these guys, the ultra-nationalists, the military leaders, they want to take control and impose the military dictatorship. This guy, the... the warlord, the particular warlord who happens to control Shanghai in, in 1926, right? Their goal is to maintain control and enrich themselves, right? And the Green Gang's just trying to make money, right? And control everything from the shadows. Shanghai is a powder keg. Yes, it is. In the city itself, yeah, yeah. So when you start, it mentions that, that the the White Sun is allied with the CCP currently to oppose the Warlord and take control of the city. But yeah, we can... If you like the typewriting, I'll read it. December 1st, 1926, the promises of a 1911 revolution sadly misfired, so they tried stuff in the past. The New Republic, quickly hijacked by Yang Tsai Kai, I probably butchered that, into an authoritarian regime, did not survive his death in 1916. For over 10 years, so 10 years to the current in the game, 1926, China has been fragmented between the greedy warlords, that those ones currently controlling lots of cities, or the four imperialist powers can lay back to enjoy the show and make money, right, through the Green Gang. The Chinese Guomindang, I probably put you that, Guomindang, the GMP, that's the White Sun, and the CCP, my current faction, supported by the USSR, yeah, they're both in the United Front, and leading the Northern Expedition to reunite China. Eastern Route Army of National NRA is approaching the city from Shanghai, so that's, that's a timer kind of sort of they're, they're alluding to there. In the city, the Chinese Communists are preparing the uprising, yeah, so that's, that's your job as the CCP. You have to mobilize the people, build a class consciousness of the exploited workers and the students. And you can even approach the police forces, which is interesting. Not a bad idea, because your people aren't armed, right? You might need that. Hint here with the GMP. Uh, oh, no, no. 
no. Trust between the two parties is rapidly fading, yeah. Yeah, 15 turns to gain control, each, in each turn's a week. To gain control of the city before the arrival of the NRA, that's the timer. Then suffer the inevitable struggle for the power control. The po yeah, so they'll turn on us. They end after 20 turns. And they'll give you a little bit of lead up, depending on your faction. So Mikhail Borodin, he's saying we're leaving for Shanghai. And so this is one of the characters you control. And we're talking to the, the Soviet a liaison to Shanghai. I know I pushed. Indeed, I'm glad you took that decision. His talents are really neat. He's puffing you up. Yeah, you're not familiar. Yeah, because you're an outsider of Shanghai. And you're going to meet the, the other CCP agents that are there. Or the, the locals. Comrades, yeah. Yeah, alright, so, yeah, the party is small and doesn't have funds. I uh, need professionals. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Great, great, great. Doubting the readiness. Right, so, so, these are the ones. This guy here, he's imposing the, the cooperation with the White Sun, the GMP. I get weapons. Yeah, it's your problem, thanks. <laughs> so, make do. Yeah, okay. So here we go. This is the map. Your job is to organize an uprising. I'll tell you right here, right? People had enough. For the purpose, you need to rally the working class. Yeah, mm -hmm. pick the the ones who are oppressed by the working, who who are desperate and oppressed by the system, right? To organize them against the current system, which is exploiting them, right? And creating armed units. Yeah, make sure to do that. Many places to start your actions are. So they're warning you. You can go to the party fair committee, the collective body. G remember, have to remember the GMPs here as well. So they'll they'll, they'll screw you over. Can't trust them. Shanghai, the students of the vanguard of the movement. Yes, they are. And the main Shanghai neighborhoods to mobilize the working class. Blinking arrows will take them to these places on the map. So here we go. This is the map of Shanghai. Uh, it, I'd argue could, like, as I played this game a bit, I'll probably mention it as the the specific critiques I have, but because it's a black and white map, I know it's historical, but it can be hard to see. That's that's the river. And there's gunboats on it. I mean, this is 1926. There are some nasty gunboats on it. It'll chew you up if you cross them. Currently, we're not mobilized, per se. We have... These are the tiny units in the province, right? This... See, this is the CMP troops. They have 20 men... Sorry, 200 men, in which 75 of them are armed with rifles. Other ones, they have swords or clubs or knives or whatever. They're green. Trash morale. The CCP's forces, armies of all factions, I can pick in lines, right? And they are completely... Oh, some of them have guns. Okay, 10 rifles. That's not bad. And you can have each of your units here, these these people you have, you can give them orders, right? So he's going to focus on training the troops, right? Which will raise their status. So you get three stars, they'll, so they'll become hardened or something, right? Now they're green, currently. Which improve their, give them their training quality, can politically train them, raise their morale, how long they'll last in battle, things like that. We don't need them just yet. This is our... Okay, I'm also they're going to tell me. As, as this game is focusing on China, they're going to call it uh, Qi, or Qi, whatever you want to call it. That's their energy. How much stuff you can do per turn. Money, mo a lot of things cost money in the CCP. In 1926, it doesn't have much money. Face, this is like your respect and supporters. How many people you got to help you. So each person, you can look at them right here. I wish you could just right-click. That's a critique I have you to actually go up here. So this is Lao Yang. I, I probably butchered that. All right, so he, it's important to note these things. He's sickly, so he has kind of low energy. He has a lot of face, so he's respected in the local community, right? He's got a little bit of money and no no supporters, no no people to directly do things. He doesn't have any guns currently, no equipment. This is a guy, he has the, the white belt, he's tireless. This guy I find is pretty good in terms of getting stuff done. He's got a lot of energy. He's got people and he's got a couple guns. Xiao... Again, is tireless, very good. And this is the person I just got here. He's the outsider. But he can train troops. He's the specialist that they brought in. The Soviets arranged to get here, right? So you're like, what the hell do you do? Well, what do you want to do? It's, it's pretty open-ended. But it's a scenario we're running through. Hmm. Well, there are also victory conditions here. December 1st, 1926. Each turn's a week. And I know I've been talking for like 10 minutes. haven't shown that this is the gameplay. What do we want to do? An important thing to determine what you want to do is look, click here. That's our influence. This is what we should focus. Now remember, this is the CCP's influence per particular person, right? So I guess this guy was puffed up a bit. It's so, so, well, only a little. Because he's associated with the CCP, he doesn't have... He has a little bit of... Say, if we look at Shanghai, yeah, we can try to butter them up. So he only has a little bit, 
due to his association with the CCP influence, how influential this character is here, this leader. And that's the vitality of the organization. You want this high. Yeah. So when you when the vitality of the organization, which is the same for each person you have, when it's low, you can't really use them to do anything. So each person, the, the best way to look at this, who's influential where, right? So Wang, Wang's, Wang's a union man, right? I believe he, he actually is. He is a unionist. He can organize the workers into unions and start strikes. And he can lead workers' pickets and workers' militias. And he also has other practical things he could do. Interesting. And this guy's a unionist. And this guy's a political worker. He's an officer, so he can train and lead troops. And he's a diplomat. So he might be the guy I want to send over to talk to people, convince them to side with me. Whereas this guy is an intellectual. You know, political worker and theorist. So he'd be good at the university with the students. So that's what I tend to do with him. So I send him to university. Nicknamed the School of Bolshevism by the International Settlement Authorities. Uh-huh, the foreigners. Imposing conditions on China. This university may not enjoy a great academic reputation, but it's a headbed for radical nationalism. Radical, hotbed for radical nationalism. Nah, I don't care for that statement. Anyway, within its walls, the united front between the CCP and the Gotameng is in action. Yeah. So, this is giving you hints here. So, at 5%, by relationship level, I can create a student union. But I need supporters for that. So, I could. So, what I probably should do is raise political awareness here to raise this character's influence here. Who's the highest? I prefer to focus him here because this guy's a unionist, so I'd like to use him elsewhere. He's alright, he could do stuff here too, though. And 100% I can get a strike, 100% of his influence. 75% I can create a movement, to create people's schools, so I, I find it best to focus on the university first. But the, you know, the main ways to play this game, this demo, I should say. Well, just raise political awareness. You tirelessly explain the ideals of the party and demonstrate that by organizing and fighting for China, the situation will improve for everyone. You think you've achieved some success for your audience, even the people do seem more preoccupied with day-to-day -day concerns, aren't they always? Period. Influence plus 12 of this particular character, of Lu Yang. <laughs> I'm just gonna butcher that three different ways. And other members of this faction also gain plus three, which is cool. Tiresome work indeed, yeah, it's very tiring. So he's out, he's tapped out. But his influence is up now. Cool. Now what else are we gonna do? So I find it best to go from left to right. And so, other thing I like to do, like, I can think of this old, like, kind of sort of old way of doing things. Like, you're on, actually on, like, a desk or a table, and you got the old, old municipal map, right? I'd like, like, little pegs and string. You can show, like, this guy has relationships here, right? <laughs> Start looking like a t conspiracy board, but it could be useful, right? Like, put the pin there, and then he's over to there. And then Wang, like, pin it to here. He's the union guy. Ooh, work with the commercial press. What do I want to do with you, Wang? Like, I need people, I need supporters, I need to raise troops. Oh, sorry, picketers. Uh, Shanghai General Labor Union. This thing's cool. It's actually a gen. It's a, it's a greater union organization. Our so-called allies tend to screw you over a lot here. The Shanghai General Labor Union, not no, the British spelling, gather many workers' unions from the larger Shanghai area. It's like a super union. It has been closed several times, but whatever warlord controls the city at the time. Yeah, they'll, they'll close it a lot. It suffers badly from the unsuccessful 1926 strikes of the current year. The the union itself remains an important organization to coordinate. Yeah, you can you can focus here, or you can focus on each individual factory. I find it best to do that, because, again, my allies, who have influence here, at the Tea House and the Federation of Sea Workers, will like to screw you over there, too. Remember, they can't be trusted. The GMP cannot be trusted. Don't trust the nationalists, right? The warlord... The warlord holds the city, has controlled the Chamber of Commerce, imagine that. The Norman Station. The gunboats, he's influenced with the gunboats, I need those gunboats. And he also controls the garrison. 250 troops who are hardened and all have guns. Yes. Were, were we to revolt now, we would die. So don't do that. You can. Well, do, if, we, if we have the... Like, if we have someone striking, we could do that. But it's not a good idea. Where is it? So I need to raise support enough to get a strike going. And no, not don't do that. This, yeah, timing is everything in this game. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Wang, what do we want to do? Mm, tempting. Commercial press. I find it best to focus on the presses. Good to know. Communist cells, CCP union. So I send a unionist. They're hinting. The commercial press group is the first modern publication in China. Interesting. Printing many books, periodicals, and even the first Chinese dictionary. So it seems like prominent if I want to spread the knowledge of my ideology. 
for the awareness of it and how it can benefit the common people, then I should control the press. He has a lot of influence here, right? As one would expect, he's the guy. He probably works here. And so I'm at 75%. I can start a strike here. I don't want to do that yet, though. Because there will be a crackdown, right? If you're going to strike, you strike all at once. You have to organize it. The, 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 yeah, they'll just, they'll just gun us down. Start the uprising. But not yet, not yet. No, we're not going to do that yet. Juice of blood. Yeah, they're also the secret societies. No, they'll they'll limit you if you don't join their weird little cults. It's, mm. We got to do it, I guess. But what do I want to do with this guy? I already... Create secret party cells is tempting. It'll drain some people. I can get more back. Get an influence to create a union someday. Is there already a union here? Union has already been created, so we already have the union. A fighting unit has been created, so we drew troops from here. We can see those particular troops if we click here. That's the commercial workers picket. 300 men, which 10 have rifles. It's not bad. We need more rifles. That'll increase the strength of the unit. I don't need them yet, though. Raise political awareness is tempting. Recruit supporters. Mm. Actually, you know what, dude? Mm. Let's raise political awareness. You tirelessly explain the ideals. Good plus nine. Tiresome groundwork indeed. And mm, create a secret party cell. Small secret party cells are created, limited to a workshop or a small unit to limit infiltration. Yep. These cells are the basis to create more important unions to the scale of factory, a district, or a profession. So this also not just gives me influence, but also raises vitality. And most importantly, it is secret, right? You're not putting up posters. All right, so 100%. He's 100% here. Good. So this would be a good recruiting point once I drink the blood. Start an uprising. We don't want to do that. Don't do that. He's tapped out. All right, Xiao, what are you going to do? So, not here. Try not to, do, try not to double up on your people. Like, you, you're, you're, you're professor dude, right? I like to give him, like, little titles. Professor. Give him, like, a little hat. <laughs> he goes to school. Wang is the union man, right? The super union man. Zhang, Zhang's practical man, right? Like, he's also a union man, but... He, 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 like, this guy, maybe this guy is, like, he's the union press man. Or is this guy maybe the union people man, right? I could send him over British American tobacco. Remember that the nationalists control lots of parts of the city. And they, this is one of the cities they have access to. I could start working on the gunboats early. Should turmoil ensure the four gunboats forming Admiral Yang's Navy are an important asset? Yeah, they, they got big guns. Big guns for 1926. Their shell, their guns can shell the bank of the river and interdict crossings of the... Hewing Poo River, the river. The Navy is suspected to have GMP and CCP sympathies. Uh, yeah. So we want to approach the Navy. But it takes, it takes face. This guy's not a good face character. He's, yeah. Mm, Xiao should probably do that. Why Xiao? Is because he's sociable. He's, these traits matter, the successes. He's charismatic and sociable. He's not bad at it. It's just, this guy's more face. You can trade at certain points of like each character support each other it's, it's a bit awkward but you can do it i want to build support for unions first that's what i want to do uh, you can also look at the i could go green gang try to buddy up with the, with the, the opium smugglers or, or distributors one could one should say because yeah the french tram network they have influence here huh so like join the local cult would be like these guys control that toyota coyote toyota uh, cotton mills, yeah. So, Japanese interests. So, if you read through the characters, some of them actually spent time in Japan. So, those would be the, the guys. One of them does. Yeah. So, Xiao is studied in China, Japan, and Europe. So, this guy's good to deal with uh, Japanese interests. He probably speaks it, right? So, I could work him on the Toyota co uh, Toyota cotton mills. I think I will. We'll raise political winners here. We have, like, no influence here. So, this is, like, the guy. Now, I think none of these other people have Japanese stuff, so we can help a lot. Foreign powers, yeah, and that's the other thing. If you if you upset them, they're gonna send mercs, send, send mercenaries, send their the marines in. I'm gonna raise political awareness, I think. I'm challenged to explain the ideals of the party. Oh, look at that, they're 21. And everyone else got plus three. You think you've achieved some success? Yeah, so yeah, we have. So I could do it again, radicalize. Uh, this can be useful to force out the GMP. Propaganda posters I find too. It's, it's telling the bosses. Don't want to do that. Drink the blood. Do we drink the blood in Toyota? Yeah, drink the blood, man. Drink the blood. It's fresh, right? <laughs> the gangsters are vampires anyway. At least they're honest about that. Uh, what energy? Drink the blood. 
You quickly realize the local bosses could effectively stand in the way of your efforts until your agents recognize their preeminence. You therefore authorize them to bow down to local chiefs and enter the green and red gangs. I know the red one. Things will proceed more smoothly from now. Okay, they're not going to discourage you from recruiting here. And the green gang gets his influence. Yeah, practical. Yeah. Um, a little alliance with the Lumpu pro proletariat, yeah. Alright, so who's left? Xiao is left. So I have to remember Xiao Ilan? I have a bunch of, I don't know the Chinese pronunciation. But he's he knows Japanese, right? So he I'm gonna use him for Toyota and the French tramway. I believe he also spent time in Europe, right? So he's good at France, French as well. And and probably British American back, alright. Uh, so what are we gonna do with you? Federation of Unionists. Hmm. Police district. You can uh, deal with the police as well if you wish. They can you can corrupt them. <laughs> Make the oh, rather, rather take advantage of the corruption. The warlords have influence. Uh, okay, the Northern Station. So it's a very strategic game. And it's actually actually tactical as well. Once the uprising that, once the uprisings start going on. A tea House. I'm surprised the gangsters don't have influence in the Tea House. British American Tobacco French Tramway Network. Okay. So plug this out a little bit. Xiao. Isho Zhang Arsenal. Yeah, this is key later game. Zhang Na? Zhang Na Arsenal, maybe? Yeah, it's the Arsenal. They, they have lots of rifles here. Hmm. I'll probably scout this. I'm gonna do this early. Days were spent surveying the place, listening to the strengths <laughs> and weaknesses of the place and the attached armed forces. It's an early demo. And translation. Should there ever be a need to storm it, its take will be easier to also identify good candidates for corruption. That's always useful. This is the more important thing. So now, because we've done that, we can perhaps spend money and buy a gun, you know, or bribe an informant to get info. So he's going to work on that. We don't have the money, though. We get, like, no money. What else can we do? You can also push Alt and see where you can do... We have, where, like, how much energy it will take to do a thing, right? Mm. Police headquarters. Main precinct of a Chinese police in charge of both the... Yeah, so if I were to butter these up, they might side with me if things go bad. Spread your ideas with the police. The police are armed. So that's, that's a good idea. It's practical. French tramway now. Toyota cotton mill now. I tend to use this guy to actually butt up the districts. Because I can recruit from them. Zhang Shadu area. Okay, he has some influence there. The, Shang's, the Zhang Shadu area along the Shao Han Creek attracts many Japanese textile plants. Maybe I should use the other guy for this. Oh, no, 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 no. The workers don't speak. Maybe they do. This once desolated area is now popular by a large number of migrant workers from neighboring provinces. There's, there it is. So Japanese wouldn't help s large amounts. Let's go to Workers Club. You just open a social club funded by contributions. Members can come and discuss, play chess or mojang, and for culture and good singing. The culture, the club stands for the moral progress of the workers. Yes, nice, inoffensive title you're helping. The club's status indicates this objective is to encourage mutual aid. Yes, in the search for common happiness. Mm -hmm. This club, above all, is a good place to promote your ideals. Ideas. <laughs> ideas, more than ideals, I guess, firm or concrete. And serves as a springboard for creating party cells. Yeah. Let's sing songs. Yeah, do that. I've also, there's a unit created from here. They own 250 men and have no guns. That's problematic. And have trash morale and a green. And the energy left. So you see why I compare it to a grand strategy game. It's very much that. It's next week. All right, so these two are talking together. These are two of my people. They're chatting. They're just giving the player some, some background information. All right, the new government is set up. Just set up the defeat as our priority. The warlord is losing support. That's the warlord is controlling the city. Calls us the Alliance for help. Okay. How do you envision our cooperation with local bourgeoisie? That's the GMP. Business circles calling for an independent municipal government. They don't want to be ruled by the same northerns footing as terrain of cheap false money. Okay, someone's printing money. We, the workers and the students, are hinting what you should focus on. We'll participate in this government. We need them for the time being. Uh. Weapons. We need to ask the Wuhan government to donate funds. They have next to no means, yeah. Workers pickets will have to take weapons directly from the arsenal they're telling you, right? Arsenal police precincts, that's where you get the guns. Even if armed with only clubs, a large crowd can accomplish this. Yeah. 
And then, how do you get a large club? You strike, right? Get strikes going. Alright. Okay. Alright. Our own dissenters. This is the GMP guy. He's probably like, have like a little highlight over that. Yeah, the White Sun guy. He does not recognize the new government. I know he met with... Yeah, he doesn't share goals. And a little background there. Okay. So, talking about striking in factories. Once you've created a union, I already have one. And there's the, the, the Mega Union, which you can also try. I'm not going to, but you could focus on that. The strike will boost your face, yeah, because you, you, you're you presenting yourself as an influential and important figure in the community, right? I think the, you know, to reference it to local, <laughs> local, national, current national news, or you could say, like, the Amazon strikes, right? That boosts up a person, right? Things like that. Uh -huh. He has support. He has face, yeah. Unions are important. And you can also recruit. You need to wisely plan the actions of your union. It's a brutal warlord could just chill. Yeah, we're ruled by a brutal overlord. It's a warlord, so he will just close the union. He will send unions to jail or just kill them. Yeah. It's advisable to strengthen your position in the general labor union. You could try that. I find it best to just take all the... To build influence in each union themselves so I can't be screwed over in the general union because they'll shut it down a lot. All right. So it's, it's a trap to focus all your efforts here, I'd say. But you can do it. But if, timing's got to be good, right? Because you say, this is the general labor union, so if someone were to try to influence or take over your organization from within, they would focus on that. <laughs> Do you say? <clears throat> right? Something like that. <laughs> the general groups out there, so they control that. Do they have a little influence there? That's what they've been focusing on. Uh-huh, they have influence there, too. <laughs> so, no, their influence will change. The warlord, mm, he's no good. He's bad. He's the bad guy. He's the bad guy that these two, the CCP and the GMD, are allied against, and these guys will make money. That's all they want. All right, so what do we want to do? Well, remember the choices we made. Oh, yeah, this little arrow stuff happened here. The police, see? I mentioned it. The police forces closed the union building. The rest of the unionists, uh-huh, this is where they're going to focus, right? Because it's it's obviously the union. We organize all the unions. So they're going to they're gonna zero in on this. Don't focus on this. Be clever. I mean, you can, but they've closed it, so I can't. Say, display reports. They close the union building. The rest is in union. So, I mean, we can build a little bit of support here, but mm. I think it's best to focus on what we're doing. University, raise political awareness. We get this high enough, we you know, we can strike at the university as well. Get a lot of students. Anti-imperialist alliance. That's good. Anti-Christian alliance because this is China, right? They're the main Christians in China, especially in 1926, right? Create student associates. Student associations. And it, certain characters, it's important to check, can do different things, right? Like, oh, he can do it. I just don't know supporters. Oh, there it is. So I might have to recruit. Can I recruit students here? No, I might have to do it elsewhere. Can I currently... Okay, okay. So if you click this here... Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Once the full game launches, probably that's probably like a uh, provincial map. This is a city map. I can go who's who. And then see if I can go to my faction. And then say if I want to... Well, so Lu, he needs people, yeah? Wang has people, right? Where is he? Wang, where are you? Ugh, little arrows there. I wish this was bigger. All right. Let's see how important people is. Oh, we're not important enough yet? All right. CCP. Let's see how... Oh, okay. Let's see how... It's not showing Wang because I was clicking... So you're this character, right? You can't see other characters. This is from his perspective. That that's what the issue was. So if I if Xiao, let's say they have different values. If, I, if Wang were to try to give some some supporters, lend his supporters to to Lu, I click in here and then give supporters resources. Okay. So he wants to give him mm, not oh like we could trade face too. No, no, this is going from him to him though. So we want to give him people. So I give you. It also proves the relationship between each other. Uh, could be five dudes. There you go. Well, five people. All right. So now, and that was free. They, they they chat a lot. So we'll go to the university. Now I have some people I can send out to focus on creating the unions. Like people I can, hey, enlist in this university and take classes. Speak to the students. Speak to your, you know, and get things rolling. So I remember the little arrow there, this guy here. And I'm going to create a student union. Student unions are the very basis of 
revolutionary actions in the university, be they the Shanghai Student Union, the National Students Union, or the Students Branch of the Revolutionary Youth League, those are the unions, I guess. You need this kind of anchor to mobilize the students. Yep. So this gives him a lot of face and a lot of influence in the region, in the particular university, and strengthens the, the union, the university, its support for you in general. Unionists and political workers from your faction gain plus 10. So everyone who has those tags. So it's now a lot stronger, and we have that going on. I can also try to recruit supporters here, which is good for him, because he doesn't have many now. He's spent them all. A student strike, and we don't do that. Not yet. People's school programs is a good choice, too. He only has one energy. Let's see if we can get some supporters. Two. <laughs> it's something. Your national charisma and prominent position in your organization allows you to attract supporters to yourself. This organization is far from being a mass organization. The few supporters you attract are highly motivated. Yeah, you got a couple students to work for you. Cool internships. Unpaid, of course. <laughs> Come on, I don't, know, I don't know how much money, right? All right, so that's what he's doing. So working on shit. Oh, look at that. Influence 100%. He's got a lot of pull here. There's a little arrow there. That's how you know. I like like a bold black outline on the arrow. Just to make it clearer. Which person you're controlling. All right. Wang, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Wang? No. Focus on the area? Yeah, focus on the workers area. And secret party cells is tempting. Create unions? Yeah, we certainly should do that. Like, like they think that maybe like a tenant union? Or creating, yeah, creating unions. And well, if you go at home in the, the for the work, maybe. Did you drink the blood yet? I'm going to have to drink blood here too, man. Sorry. Particularly if you want to recruit supporters. Let's create the cell first. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Small secret party cells, and okay, so we're building a cell here. And drink the blood. Green gang influence. Yeah, it does strengthen the green gang, though. But, yeah. CCPs have joined the local secret societies. Yeah. Well, it'll help me for recruiting, though. Two. Yeah. Try it again. Two. Not much. Gotta increase more influence. And the vi it's probably the vitality being absolute trash. We have to do this to raise the vitality of the region more. That's why we're getting crap results. That's okay, it's early. Alright. You, dude, you speak Japanese. You go to Toyota. <laughs> That's what you're doing now. Uh, we need to raise political awareness. 21. So now we have... So 20... I can recruit supporters at 25. Do it again. Boosted by relay... Oh, it's 48 now. Oh, very nice. Radicalize them? No. Recruit supporters? I mean, there's one energy left, so I'll do it. Two people. Got to get an influence higher. Vitality's good, though. So they're being very exploited, right? <laughs> 1926 at the mills. Why else is the vitality so high? Because it's, you know, they push together through strife, right? Uh, what are we going to do? Wang's good, good, good. All right, Xiao, what is your focus? He's the only one left. Oh, you're focusing... I didn't just click, did I? Make sure it's important to keep straight who's doing what. Yeah, you're focusing on the arsenal. Give him any money. <laughs> Dude's got no money. Uh, I gotta give him some money. Who has money? Alright, Lou has got some money. Well, Alright, Lou, you gotta... You gotta pony up, man. Everyone needs... Gotta grease some hands. So you click this here. And we want to give... Zhao, who has energy left... Money. Also, something else you can do. You can trade resources. Like, and get, you can say you can exchange face for money, right? You can get a loan or beg someone for money. Like, I really need your support, man. That's a good way to get money. Like, this guy's good at face. Each person can do this per turn. So if you want a little bit more energy, this is very helpful. He has, like, no face, though. He's a, he's tireless, but he's, he burns resources fast. Hmm. see something else you can do you can convert your people into energy like they'll, they'll work on doing this thing for you on well, each of little titles this is the no little big titles this is the chairman of the the general labor union that's why he's respected there a lot oh he gets one supporter a turn and five face a turn cool and he's also the chairman of the labor union committee of the ccp okay so he's got some face and partisan oh cool 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 all right head of the shang he, he, intellectual group. He gets some face per turn. So this guy 
and he these those are the only ones of current positions currently it'll change what do I want to do with you did I do we need money it's a lot I'm tempted to do that because he gets face per turn right we are gonna need them I will do it hey, I need the money so I will exchange for ten dollars ten whole dollars that's right I did it Oh, yeah, that's just the representation. Oh, it's more than $10. All right, so what we're going to do is transfer money from Lu to Xiao. Where is he? Where is he? So from Lu's perspective, we have to find Xiao. Click him. No, it's... Come, come, come. come. Sometimes the demo it doesn't show up the button, which is unfortunate because it, it's, it's messing up what I want to do. <laughs> I need you to transfer money. Can zoom too if you like. See if I can do it. It's a very early demo, so things. Right, so your faction, Underworld, the Green Gang. So if I want to send money to Xiao Xiang from Lu Yingnong, I think. I find you. Go, come on, the button's not showing on the weird demo bug thing. Anyway, it's, it's early and it's very interesting. This is the Rise of the White Sun demo. I'm going to play some more. Thanks for watching. Rise, subscribe. Bye.